So today's all about brows. You have been asking for this video for quite a while and it has been quite a while since I've done a video like this. I'm gonna be showing you exactly how to shape your brows using makeup and how to just make them look like the perfect brow for you. So give me a sec, let me just take off my brows and I'll be back. So here they are, my natural brows in all their glory. I would like to say natural, but actually they're not natural because I did pluck half of them out when I was much younger and then they never grew back, so here we are. So in actual fact, I feel like my natural brows are very full, very just kind of much better than what they are right now. We're gonna make do with what we've got. So first thing I'm gonna do is make sure that that whole area is nice and dry. So this is where you wanna make sure that you don't have any kind of tackiness to the, to the skin or the area there because the minute that you do, anything that you apply in terms of brow products is not gonna stick. It's just not gonna stick and it's just gonna be a nightmare. Trust me, I've been in that position before and it's horrible. So you really wanna make sure that your brows are prepped in the right way. A lot of people message me saying, should I be doing my brows before or after foundation? I would highly recommend doing it after you've finished your entire base. The reason for that is because it's gonna be dry. The area is gonna be dry. If you apply your foundation and then go straight into your brows, you've just got too much fluidity there. You need it to be very dry. So what I like to do is do my base. I wipe my brows. So I wipe it with a wet wipe wrap around my finger to make sure there's not any extra product there, like build up of powder, build up of kind of concealer. I then make sure that I just powder around the area with a brush. So you can get like a small, like a real technique setting brush or even your powder puff you could use just around the area to make sure that it's not fluid in any way. Then when you know that your brows are nice and dry, that's when you wanna go in with your product. So we're gonna start off with shaping the brows and just getting the overall shape right. Now, before I do start that, I just wanna very quickly explain to you the kind of angle of the brow and where it should be sitting and where your art should be and just the names that you wanna call certain parts of it. So generally we have our brow area, which is here above the eye bone area here. So what we wanna do is make sure that we have a start, middle and end. Now the first beginning part of the brow is here, then we have the middle which is generally where the arch sits and then we have the tail of the brow here and this is where the brow kind of tapers off and it ends. We want to make sure that we have a really nice kind of gradual kind of thickness going thinner and thinner as we get to the end. We do want it to be a very kind of easy brow to look at. You don't want it to be like super round. You also don't want it to be super pointy. You also don't want it to be too high. There are so many different things that you want to factor in when it comes to your brows. Now this again all depends on what kind of facial features you have and where your brow naturally sits. So for example, I personally prefer my brow to sit a little bit lower. So I like to apply more of the product on the underside of the brow so that it kind of naturally brings it down a bit. I don't like to apply a lot of product above my brow because then it just looks too high. And the reason for that is because I have quite a lot of space around my eye area. So I have so much space below my brow area just here. If I were to apply the product above, it's just gonna make it look a bit too much. So because I know I have a lot of space that I can play around with here, I'm quite happy with applying the product below my brow so just on the underside of the brow if you feel that you don't have much space here I would suggest going above the brow when you're shaping so there are so many different things to take into consideration when you're doing your brows it isn't just about replicating what I've done and putting it on your face because your features might be slightly different you might have less space around that brow area there so based on what I have told you what we're gonna do is apply mainly along the underside of the brow we're gonna shape the brow first so we get that overall kind of shape right now this is where you want to remember by that, like I said, we have the beginning part here, which generally is kind of not necessarily super straight. Again, that's down to preference too. It can be a little bit curved if you want it to be, but overall the arch is gonna be along this area, which is usually about a quarter of the way in from the end of the brow. When it comes to figuring out where your brow should start, it shouldn't start too far in and it also shouldn't start too far out. So naturally I would say the rule of thumb is to use a pencil and place it along the corner of your lip and then it skims past your nostril here, skims past your inner corner of your eye. And that is generally where your brow should start, right? So you can see it's skimming past all those areas, the outside corner of the mouth, the side of the nostril, and then the inner corner of the eye. And that is where your brow should start. Now, when it comes to where your brow should end, that should generally be from the center of the lip, skimming past the outer corner of the eye, and that's where your brow should end. So I know that I need to lengthen my brow a little bit there. Those are the two rule of thumbs you wanna follow when it comes to the beginning and the end of the brow. And like I said, the arch 
if you're going to have an arch, should be a quarter of the way in from the end of the brow. It shouldn't be directly in the middle. Okay, first thing we're going to do is get my Charlotte Tilbury brow cheat, and this is in natural brown, and we're going to very lightly create a kind of like shape to the brow. Now, I always want to make sure that my mirror is straight ahead of me. I don't want to look down. I want to get like a straight ahead kind of good angle of my brow. So this is where I'm going to hold my mirror, and this is where I'm going to start kind of like shaping my brow. You can start at any point. I like to kind of start at this point because if I start here, I feel like it's just a bit too harsh. And I don't like to apply too much of this product to the beginning part of my brow. So I kind of tend to start along the middle and then I naturally kind of bring it in there. So you see how we've got a very faint line there? And then we're going to go along the underside here. See how that's very faint, but we've got, roughly we've got a shape. We can thicken that if we want to in a little while. I am just going to... enhance the shape a bit more so just like get that shape right i'm kind of happy with that now what i want to do is do the top part of the brow so this is where i'm just going to straighten it i'm not really applying a lot of product above the brow because like i said i don't actually want it to be like thicker at the top i just want to get the shape right There you go. Now you can see where there's gaps in between where I don't have any hair, right? We're gonna fill that in a little bit. We're just gonna very lightly use this pencil to just do little strokes to just fill it in. Okay, so I'm happy with that brow. You could stop there and that would be fine for you. It really depends on how much kind of like how sparse your brows are and how many gaps you have in them because I like to kind of like apply a brow pen to give the illusion of like hair strokes just to give it that more of a 3D effect. But if you're happy with this as it is, you can just finish there. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side so we can really get that similar shape. And this is where you really wanna keep looking back to make sure that you're getting the brow in the right shape. And this brow is generally a problem for me because it's just, I don't know, it's just a problem for me. <laughs> it is a little bit higher than the other brow, so I do feel like I need to lower it a little bit more. By the way, I just wanna make clear that my pressure is very light. I don't want you to press too hard. Can you see I've got way more gap there because I need to bring the brow down a little bit. So this is where I kind of go along the upper part of the brow and I shape it and we're just going to shade this in like I did on the other side. I always have to go back and kind of adjust this brow. I'm kind of happy with that brow now so what I want to do is get my brow pen and this is where we're really going to add kind of depth to the brow and just give it more of a 3D effect because even though we've shaded this in I can still see those areas where there's no hair and I don't like that effect so I really want to kind of fill in the areas where there's actually no hair with some brow strokes so that it gives the illusion of kind of hair being there. I like to use two different brow pens. You can use one if you want. I like to use the Lime Crime Bushy Brow Pen for the beginning part of my brow because it's just so thin and it's so faint. It's not very, like, it's not highly pigmented. And then I like using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Pen. That's for the rest of the brow because it is a little bit more pigmented. It is a little bit deeper in color. It gives me more of that depth where I need it. Whereas I don't want my beginning part of my brow to be that strong. So this is where I hold the brush upright like this and I start shading in, like creating little kind of hair strokes. So I'm gonna do the same on the other eye or other brow. Now I'm gonna go with my Anastasia Beverly Hills brow pen in soft brown, and this is where I'm gonna apply this to other areas. See how that just adds that little bit of depth to the areas that I don't have hair? And do the same thing here. That is how I do my brows guys. It's super easy. Honestly, it's just become so easy, I guess, over time because my brows 
are the same all the time because they don't grow back in certain areas. So I just generally clean around the edges to make sure that there's nothing kind of like, you know, any stray hairs or anything. I cut from the top in case I need to, like any hairs that have decided to grow just in the wrong places. That's it. So that's how I do my brows. It's a really quick and easy, simple way. Hopefully that's kind of shown you that if you do have sparse brows, this there is a way to make them look a little bit thicker and make them look a bit normal, you know? I really do hope the whole thing that I explained about how applying the product either on the underside or the upper side of the brow makes a difference and it's all to do with your features and how well you can kind of like open up the area or close up the area. So like for me, I close up the area because I have so much space along here that I like to bring my brows down a little bit. Whereas if you don't have a lot of space on your eyelids, then you might want to bring your brows up a bit to help kind of make them look a bit, kind of just help the area look a bit bigger without looking like your brows are just not in the right place, if you see what I mean. So it's really about understanding your features and just making sure that you, you know where you should be lifting and where you shouldn't be lifting. So hopefully that will makes sense and I'm sending you loads of love. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments box below. Don't forget that all the products are listed in my description with all the links. All you need to do is like click on the links and it'll take you straight to it. There are various different eye pencils, like brow pencils, sorry, that I love. Honestly, there's so many good brow pencils. Like I would say, let me just actually very quickly share with you some of my favorites. My favorites are my Charlotte Tilbury brow cheat. I absolutely love that. I also love my Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil. I love the Victoria Beckham Beauty Baby Blade. The brow pencil is absolutely amazing. I love my Lime Crime brow pen. I like the Anastasia brow pen. I would say those are the main brow pencils that I use. I alternate between them. Yeah, I absolutely love them. Those are the ones that I love. So yeah, sending you loads of love wherever you are in the world. If you do like this video, please do give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell button so that you never miss any of my future videos. Until the next video, take care and I'll see you soon.